so this is pretty exciting. The MLB trade deadline just passed at 5 o'clock, and the Twins made some big moves in the last few moments. All right, let's get right out to sports director Jim Rich. He's live at Target Field. All right, Jimmy, uh, an exciting <laughs> couple of minutes here. <laughs> I feel like Theo Keith on election night. I mean, this is crazy. The results are just flying in here. Right now, they're just holding another impromptu press conference because of all the trading that Derek Falvey has spoken already. And you know what? Maybe we should just uh, sneak in here for one with Derek just about what he has pulled off today. Since it is live, we can sneak in here. And and Derek, first off, just, just how crazy a day is this. I mean, I mowed the lawn today and I thought that was an accomplishment. <laughs> um, I, I wish I just mowed the lawn in some ways. I, I, I'm going to need a, a reset to come back. But it was, a, it was a busy day. It always is. I joke about 80% of the trades getting done in the last day of the deadline. I would argue I'm going to have to tally it later. It's probably more than that this year. Uh, it certainly was for us. But it was a really exciting day and we were able to add a lot of talent to this team that we, uh, we really believe in. How often do you get a list in your head and actually go out and get what you needed because you needed relievers, you needed starters, and you were able to accomplish that. Well, I think it wasn't just about the list of uh, spots on the field. It was about how do we add impact. And I think in, in the guys that we acquired, we had an impact in every spot. I, I think uh, Tyler Maley is someone who we felt really good about. We've actually had conversations with them going back to the last couple of seasons. Uh, Michael Fulmer is a guy we've watched really pitch well against us. And Jorge Lopez has been one of the best closers in the game this year. So we knew we needed to add to that space. Uh, we were able to do that. We added some depth catching in Sandy Leon too, a veteran guy who we think could help us along the way here. So it's just we're really excited about the group that we have in that clubhouse. But to be able to add what we did it just felt just feels really good and how important was it not to damage what you have in the clubhouse right now yeah I mean it's critical we, we know the culture in that room how we build it how you add to it you want to supplement it you know you want to make sure that your minor league system continues to be able to provide the depth to the major league group and we took some really good prospects out of our system but because we have some depth because we have some good players we still feel like we have a lot in our system that'll help us along the way over the next couple of years to sustain this performance and what does this say to the players in that clubhouse? A lot of times teams really are upset at a trade deadline because they didn't see the management team step up. Uh, this has to say a lot from you about what they've done to this point of the season. Yeah, I think before the deadline, what, what we said was we're going to find We believe in this team. You know, We said it from the get-go. We felt that way all year, and we wanted to find a way to supplement it. And we did that, and we infused some, hopefully some energy in that room and, and a chance to go play baseball the way we want to. we got to get healthier. We know that, right? We've had some injuries. We've had some guys go down. But I can tell you, when I look in that room now and I look around, I think it's a really good team that's going to go compete. First goal is AL Central, right? And that's, that's where we have to go, and I feel we can do that. All right, thank you very much. I think some other people have questions for you. For sure, for sure. All right, I gotta see if I can find my way back out of here. Sorry, Laval, sneaking through. But uh, there you go, right from the GM, he has gone out, got a couple of starters, got a reliever. He's short at pitching, he's short at a catcher. He went out and got that. A lot of things happening here. Um, if you want, uh, we have sound from in the clubhouse. I mentioned how the players were excited about getting these arms in here and not taking away from the room. Carlos Correa is a big player in this clubhouse. He had a say in those trades. And if we can roll the sound now from those guys, Carlos Correa and Sonny Gray, on what these moves mean to them. It tells me that, um, that the team wants to win. Uh, it, t it tells me that they want to put the right product on the field and they want to help us on that end in order for us to go out there and have a better chance against the best teams in the league. And uh, I feel like with the moves that we made so far, we're, we're getting in a, in, a, in a good spot to compete against everyone. We believe and our front office believes can, can help us contribute to winning because, I mean, that's the ultimate goal, right, is to, is to go out and, and, and win games, uh, win as many games as you can. So that's it, it's nice that you do feel like you're getting you're getting some help and you're getting guys who have won and, and guys who, who who can help us win so that's something that's exciting yeah and it says something when the veterans like that are saying that this really is going to push this team towards winning this division title we'll sort this all out we have footage of these players we'll share with that 
later with you coming up at 6 o'clock. But uh, Michael Fulmer was the pitcher from Detroit. He pitched in last night's game. He just made the walk across the hall and went into the Twins clubhouse, and now he's getting fitted for a Twins uniform. We'll see if he figures in tonight's game. But it's uh, pretty crazy down here at Target Field. Amy, Kelsey, back to you. This is like right out of a movie. Love it. I think we should just give Jim the rest of the hour because this it. is so captivating. It right really now. is. Live TV, Jim Rich mm -hmm. in, in the middle of it all. It's